My sister was talking about some of the rules of the church when it comes to peaceful elections. And just to add a little bit, we strongly believe that the prayers of the churches are very, very important. And when we recognize that without prayers, we cannot do a lot. But when we pray and we also do the dirty work, we can go very, very far. So at the electoral commission, we made it a point that we, we are trusting God to see us through a very, very successful election. However, we are also doing all the hard work that is necessary to ensure that we achieve that. So currently, as we speak now, the electoral commission has completed a chunk of the processes. We've done our registration, we've done our exhibition, we had a second version of the exhibition which we concluded on Saturday. We've done the nomination exercise, and as you may be aware, in this year's nomination, the filing fee for female candidates and persons with disabilities will reduce it by 25%. So for the presidential election, male candidates pay 100,000 Ghana cities, and female candidates and persons with disabilities pay 75,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> and, and for the parliamentary elections, the male candidates pay 10,000 Ghana cities, and the female candidates and persons with disabilities also pay 7,500. The main idea was to encourage more women to take part in the process. But unfortunately, we didn't, the numbers that came were not very, very encouraging. So far, for the parliament, we are having about 830 or so candidates. Only about 120 of them are females. So that's about 12 13%.